Jackie Mason says, Jackie Mason says, I come to California and everybody's sitting around in cafes. Nobody's working. Nobody's got a job. I said, what's going on? What do you people do? They're all producers. They're producing a movie. And they're all sitting around, you know the shtick, right? They're all sitting around trying to decide where to put the sex scene. So he asks them, why does every movie have to have a sex scene? And they say, because it's you know, simulating real life. And in uh, real life, people have sex. He says, yeah, but people also have soup. <laughs> so why doesn't a movie have to have a soup scene? <laughs> I mean, he tells it like a joke. I take it seriously. <laughs> yeah, really, why? That's the philosopher, you know. Why, if there's a sex scene, it sells? And if there's a soup scene, it doesn't sell. Come on, there's got to be a deep explanation here. In a marriage where the, the fire has gone out, it's because their relationship has become soup. The difference between intimacy and soup, if you don't already know, actually there was a, a teenage boy, came for Shabbos to Chabad house. He was an obnoxious, arrogant kid who thought he was a gift to all women. One of those, you know? So I walked over to him and I said, I, I've, I've had this question for a long time. Maybe you can explain it to me. What is the difference between sex and soup? He says, I, I, I don't know. I said, really, I'm so disappointed. I mean, of all people, I thought you would know. You don't know the difference between sex and soup? He says, no. I said, then stay out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between sex and soup? Soup is a thing that you can own. It's an object. You can buy it. You can steal it. It's yours. Soup is good food. So if you want to eat it and enjoy it, you'll enjoy it. You don't want, throw it away. Nobody's going to tell you what to do with your soup. Intimacy is not like that. Intimacy you cannot own. You never have possession. You never have rights. You never have license. You never have a claim to another person's intimacy. So everybody says, why, you, after three dates you expect intimacy? What do you think I am? After four dates we'll talk. Five dates? No. No amount of dates earns you any kind of intimacy, because intimacy is not a thing you can own. It's not a thing. I'll explain in a minute. So when does a man have rights to intimacy? How about if he promises to marry her? Now? No. How about if he actually bought her a ring? No. What if they are married? No. I <laughs> know. Now you tell me. <laughs> How about they've been married for 40 years? No. Never, ever, at all. The definition of intimacy is two people with nothing between them. Intimacy means I need you, not something from you, not something about you, just you. And let me show you how sad this is when you lose it. A mother says, 
I don't get along with my teenage daughter. We're just not, not communicating, we're not getting along. I said, from now on, whenever you go out on an errand, shopping, whatever, ask your daughter to come with you. She said, for what? I said, for nothing. She's sitting home alone. You're going out. Ask her to come with you so that you'll be together. She says, what would we talk about? I mean, is this sad? What would we talk about? I said, you always prepare speeches for your daughter? Don't talk about anything. I said, so, so, what's, so, so what for? Because it's your daughter. So now you see where the problem is. They can't connect to each other. They've always been connecting through something. If you need this from me and I need that from you, but just, mm, just us, that's uncomfortable. Between mother and daughter. This is what intimacy means. It's just us. It's me and you with nothing for nothing. Just us. That's everything. Nothing is everything. That's intimacy. Partner with Rabbi Friedman. Visit itsgoodtoknow.org forward slash support.